Cause I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. I will not allow anyone to narrow the tunnel of my life. I will never have 360 degree understanding. I understand that. I'm pressing for it. Mm -hmm. But if I live 100 years, it's still going to be a tunnel. Well, I will not let anyone else narrow it still farther. I have a place inside myself which is inviolate. Each person has that place, the place I, I will eventually go to just before I die. That place. The place I go to to talk to God. That place is my own. I hope I'm always gracious. I am always accessible. Uh, unless a person is rude, I will not have rudeness. I will not bear it. I don't suffer fools gladly. I don't suffer them at all. Another great pleasure, and probably the greatest of all, is the indication that one's work is valued. The real payment is that people enjoy it and themselves are made larger. When the people are made larger for the work, the artist is made larger. The writer, the painter, the dancer, the actor, the director, the architect, I mean, well, go, the poet, always has to go to that private place, you see, to get the stuff to infuse the craft. You study the craft, that is imperative. One studies the craft, and then one goes to this private little place and gets some stuff and shoots it into the knowledge of that craft so that the thing sings. And now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me walking, it ought to make you proud, I say. It's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hands, the need for my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally.